Hi there, welcome back into Sit If You're Able. We're back here with Jacob Gibbs once again. We talked NCAA tournament with him last time. This time we're going to be talking about a different tournament. We've got Masters Edition here. And, uh, you know, like we said last time we were on the show, this is a fun time in the year with the uh, MLB season starting up, the NCAA tournament back uh, in March, finishing up first week of April. Now the Masters Tax Day coming up next week. So a fun time for all of us. And uh, Masters wrapping up a few hours ago. And here to break it down with you. So Scotty Scheffler picked up his second Masters championship. And what do you think of Scotty this weekend? I mean, there was never a doubt. It was always Scotty. <laughs> the only person who could have stopped him was his kid being born, if we're being <laughs> honest. I mean, shooting four under at the, to end it off. Go birdie six out of nine on the back nine. Mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. There's like He's looking like Tiger in his prime. Pulled it. That was a thing that kind of stood out to me was the, was how strong he finished because I think I want to say it was tied when he was um, on the front nine, and then he just I mean, he's lights put out. it in gear. <laughs> when he wants to pick it up, there's just no one beating him. No, I mean, he was, I mean, there was, again, there was, like you said, there was no doubt. At any, at any point, really, the whole weekend, I didn't think that there was a whole lot of doubt about it. When you have minus odds to be in the top ten, <laughs> yeah. it's, you're a step ahead. Looking at, um... I think it was DraftKings. I can't remember which one it was, but yeah, he was he was definitely was minus odds to open the tournament to be in the top ten, and I believe he might have been minus odds or maybe like plus a hundred to be in the top five. So it was um, expected, but still uh, still impressive what he was able to do. There's a reason he's got the number one by his mm -hmm. name. I mean, especially when you see like, if you look at uh, strokes gained around the greens. It's below average. Not a very good putter. Mm -hmm. Fairways and greens and regulation, he's number one by a <laughs> wide margin. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. It's machine-like. It Watch really him. is. Watch him up right there. But uh, So he picked up the one, the uh, the win. i got to pull this guy's name up. Ludwig Aberg? Yes. Number two? Yes. Never heard of that guy before this weekend, but he was – I mean, I finished Might number tell. two. Played very well and um, – he was on the yeah. Ryder Cup team, the okay. last one, for the Europeans. Played well in that. Tommy Fleetwood, Max Homa, Colin Markawa, all tied for third at uh, four under. Max Homa, one of my buddies said it. We have a group chat. Talk, we all talk mm -hmm. about golf. We all love golf. He said Max Homa was pre, like pre-Masters lock. I mean, you could see what he does. My, what do you go? Four under? Just four under. Unbelievable. Tied for third? I mean, there. Like he was in the group of Tiger. I mean, I watched every single tee shot Tiger had. <laughs> Uh, through especially through Thursday and Friday, I mean Max Helm was locked in. Very good golfer. From what you see on people from the tour off the golf course, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves him. I'm glad to see him do well. Yeah, I mean, talk about Tiger in a minute, but that's um, as more of a casual golf fan. I was watching a lot of Tiger and obviously Max Helm and his group, and he was I, th I absolutely the best in that group oh, this weekend. Oh, wide margin. Um, Finish his third, so he's in that. Uh, he gets a million dollar uh, pool it's right there. Very good pool. pin. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if he would have, if he shoots even on the back, even total of this today, probably would have got a solo third. Mm -hmm. Gets a little bit bigger share. But sure, I'll take it. And oh um, yeah, invited back as well. Finishing, I think it was top twelve, is what I heard. Um, get invited back. So um, I think Homa and uh, Aberg. Two guys who, as a casual, I'll be paying attention to next uh, next tournament. I want to talk about Tiger as well because he's Tiger. Um, that was his. That was his worst uh, major, wasn't it? It was. About the best worst. I mean, you could tell, especially you could really see it sinking in on Friday. He had played twenty three holes. Mm -hmm. He he looked in pain. Yeah, he. I mean, because he looked Thursday. He looked bef really good before the. Uh, before the round got suspended because they ran out of out of daylight, he looked. I thought he looked. I think he was under par. He looked really good, and then um, I think the age age caught up to him there. <laughs> it, it sucks to see such a you know real huge person in the game. There's no one you can compare to Tiger no. in any sport. Someone who really revolutionized the sport of golf. Just sucks to see it on. Put it on the map for a lot of he people. Really did. So it just sucks to see the downfall of him, but. Made the cut for what the twenty third straight year though. That is correct. So, probably pretty much only because of how well he played Thursday. But uh, what did he finish at? He was all the way back. Fifteen over. 
Yike, yeah, 15 over was 5 over on Sunday. Um, so things kind of fell apart on him there. But uh, did, uh, what was it? I think it was Friday. His, not the, it wasn't the round he completed on Friday. It was his full round Friday. So he had a, I think it was a chip in on six for mm-hmm. a birdie. So, and then after that, it was all downhill for him. Um, I think he Maybe took he out did. a spectator. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Try to hook a ball. Kind of keep it low under some trees. It was, was never going to work. It happened. I mean, that's that's the thing. Because I'm, you know, a lot of people talk about with the tee shots, especially everybody's so close and it's a narrow um, tunnel that they have to hit through. And people are like, man, how did you avoid hitting people? You know, I mean, I slice it so much just to begin with. I, I might see that. That might actually help me if we could get people to line up. Might hit one straight every now and then. But when you're like trying to hit the green, especially you got a little tougher shot and you mm-hmm. have to do something with, that's those are those are scary ones. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it helps them out though, because mm-hmm. I mean that ball would have kept rolling. Yeah, it really does. Just you know, it's it's a veteran move right there. Play it the, is. Yeah, <laughs> you play it where it lies. Mm-hmm. Could be on somebody's <laughs> head could be right in the middle of the fairway. Got to play it either way. That's why you got to bring your glove with you to the course. Absolutely. <laughs> I did see one one last thing before we finish up that that was really cool to see was um, shoot forgot the guy the kid's name but he's uh, he was matched up today with the, one of the amateurs um, and played with him I'm trying to figure oh out. I, I know who you're talking about yeah he was that was that was pretty cool um, it was Shipley I don't yeah. know, his, know his first name where did he finish he finished tied for fifty third fifty third he actually beat Tiger on the weekend yeah. shot a seventy three today. Uh, Neil Shipley, that's right. So, I mean, it's cool because, I mean, he's a college kid playing golf with Tiger Woods at the Masters. On a Sunday, too, on Tiger. Uh-huh. Was he wearing he's, his red Oh, today? yeah, he had his red yeah, on. Um, and, it, I mean, it, his his caddy was like one of his college friends. He was like, hey, do you want a caddy for me this weekend? And then they end up playing uh, with Tiger on Sunday. So that was that was pretty cool to watch. So, um, And then one more thing that I forgot about, almost forgot about. Remember the last second. It was pretty cool. For me, as somebody who's trying to get into broadcasting, was uh, this was Vern Lundquist's last uh, last Masters. So, um, one of the one of the more iconic voices in in sports going out his last Masters. Of course, he was a long time uh, CBS college football guy. Now um, he retired from that a while ago, but still did the Masters. He's hanging it up after this year. So um, that was kind of the. And seeing people pay, I saw uh, Tiger go up and shake his hand at 16, so that was pretty cool to watch. Um, people kind of pay their respects to him. So that's about all we got this week. Appreciate Jacob for coming on and talking some golf with us. Got uh, one more episode coming your way. I've got no idea who's going to be on it or what it's going to be about, but we'll figure that out and send it your way soon. This has been Sid If You're Able. Thanks for tuning in.